Hello everyone, I am Ivan from CameraHorders.com and today I'd like to show you this new Canon PowerShot and digital camera. As you can see, this is a very special camera. Basically, it comprises only from lens up front and the LCD in the back. The LCD is tiltable up to 90 degrees, so you can shoot at various different angles. But I think it's a shame it cannot be rotated all the way to 180 degrees, so we could shoot our own self-portraits. There is very few buttons on this camera. Basically on the left side you have the on-off switch, and on the right playback button and buttons used to turn on Wi-Fi capability to transfer photos to a smartphone. The lens has 8 times optical zoom and behind it sits a 12 megapixel sensor. Now when you want to zoom with this camera you use this dial around the lens. So this is basically it. Now the bad thing is you can grab it only here and here because it's very slippery and from here you cannot zoom. Well, maybe you can but it's pretty hard to get a grip on it. Also when you want to take the picture you use this front dial. So you push it like this and that's a shutter. The screen has stage capability so you can shoot also with it. I think this is more easier way. All the functions are set using touch screen. The touch capability is pretty good. So basically if you use smartphones daily this will be very easy for you to control all the options. The camera has several shooting modes, auto modes, program mode to take control over some, over most of the uh, shooting aspects. As you can see, fisheye effect, oops, and several creative modes, let's call them that way. Oh, this is also pretty nice, you have a slow motion movie. The camera uses, it doesn't have a built-in memory, it uses micro SD memory cards. Not my, my favorite kind, but the camera is small, so they used the smallest possible memory card. On the bottom you can see also tripod mount and this is battery compartment. The battery is rechargeable lithium unit. It is also small as you can see, but there's no way to fit a, b a larger battery inside this camera. Okay, that's pretty much the basic stuff I wanted to show you about this camera. And I wanted to visit my blog CameraHorders.com and read entire review and take a look at image samples.